people often ask me, what is nearsightedness or shortsightedness or what would doctors call myopia? Well, think of it this way. Light from a faraway object is now entering the eye, but unfortunately it focuses before it hits the light sensitive tissue called the retina. The retina is like film in a camera when cameras had film. And so when it hits this focal point before it gets to the retina, when it finally reaches the retina, it's blurred. And that's nearsightedness. You can see up close, but you can't see far away. Now another term people ask me about is astigmatism. And astigmatism is a really strange thing because light will focus in front of the retina and on the retina and behind the retina. It's kind of like if you've ever used a fountain pen and you smear the ink by accident, you have that primary image, but then you have a smear tailing off from it behind it. And that's what happens to images when astigmatism creates an effect. And for children, they can have myopia and astigmatism at the same time. Now, what is progressive myopia? That's a myopia or a nearsightedness where children's vision changes, and it changes rapidly in periods of less than a year, and it can also change in amounts greater than a half a diopter, or 0.50. So why is progressive myopia bad? Well, your child goes back to see the eye doctor, and it may be less than a year that he, was, he or she was last there, and the doctor says, oh, your child's eyes have gotten worse. Here's stronger glasses. And then you go back, and six, eight, ten months later, the doctor says, oh my gosh, your child's eyes are worse. Here's stronger glasses. Shame on our profession for doing that when there's something better that we can do for children to slow those changes down and keep them in manageable amounts.